So we're now going to actually call a controller and uh, and call a method on that controller if it exists. Bear in mind that we also have these defaults. So if, for example, a method isn't provided and the home controller is provided, this will automatically uh, be called. If this, uh, if the controller that we pass through here uh, is say contact and a method isn't passed, this will automatically uh, call the index method on contact. So we'll stick with the home example now and then later we'll build another method just to prove this uh, this works. Now the first thing we want to do is check if this controller exists. Now we're doing this because if the controller doesn't exist uh, then we want to, uh, well we, don't, we basically don't want to set uh, this controller here. We just want to use the default. So let's do a um, quick if statement here and this is going to basically use the file exists function in PHP and we're going to call app controllers and this will be x.php now x is going to be the name of the controller so we can basically get the name of the controller that we've called uh, with URL 0 so if URL 0 does exist that's going to uh, well it's going to check if that actually exists if that's the case, we want to set the controller to URL 0. So this will replace this essentially. And then what we want to do is actually unset this. So we want to remove it from the array. Now, once that's happened, we want to immediately require in the controller that we have. So we can use require once app controllers again x.php and x this time is going to come from this controller so what this is now going to do is require in that file now you'll notice that if we do this home index home does exist so that's been required in otherwise that will still require home if we were to choose blah for example that doesn't exist therefore this if statement won't uh, or this won't this block won't run and it will just require in home controller so we can prove that by just echoing out this controller just to see what's going on here so here this is saying home even though we've provided blah if we also say uh, do a print r on the url despite the fact that this zero element here or the first element is blah we're still requiring in home because blah doesn't exist as a file as soon as we for example create a controller called blah let's just do that now and return to our thing then that will go ahead and actually uh, oh sorry let's get rid of this php file here that is required in blah because the file exists it's not useful because we haven't got any you know anything in there but let's uh, delete this here okay cool so we've printed R on the URL we can see that works we'll keep that actually so we know that the controller has been set if the actual controller exists what we now want to do is replace this controller with a new instance of this controller so this will create a new object let's do a var dump on this controller to see what happens so let's get rid of that so now we've got a home object here which is the controller that we have again if we type blah here it basically doesn't work it still gives us object home so let's say home index and param so what we've now got is home index and param the controller the method and the parameter and we've got a home object being created so now what we want to do is check if the second parameter has been passed and this is going to be the requested method so let's create an if statement here and this is going to check whether uh, url1 is set so if is set url1 then what we want to do is check if a method ex actually exists so if this method exists on this controller so we use the method exists function in PHP and we say this controller that's the name of the um, object or class name that we want to check and we want to check if the method that's been passed through in the controller exists or not now I'm just going to echo out OK here just to test this out so if I call home what this has now done is um, well we don't actually have anything passed so this won't echo but if we pass a perfectly valid method name so index this says OK index does exist if I pass in test 
that doesn't echo okay because the method within our home controller doesn't exist. Now what I can do is create a test method and that now says okay. So it's basically checking whether a method exists that's been requested. So now instead of echoing okay out, we want to set the method that we created up here earlier, method. By default it's index, remember? We want to say this method equals URL1. Then we want to unset URL1. Now the reason we're unsetting is because if down here we do another print R on URL, we're doing a print R up here and a print R down here now, when we call that, you'll see that we've got an original array here with home and the te and test. Uh, now here we've got what's left are the parameters that we then pass through to our controller. So if we were to say home index param, this gives us param here, and this gives us home index param. But if we don't call a specific method, this still works because we have our default index method. So we've now got param, which is the leftover param array. And these are what we can use in, within our controller. So the full lot will look like index param like this. But what's important now is we've got this array left over that we can pass through to our controller. So instead of printing R, let's get rid of both of these now because we don't really need to do much more uh, checking of these. What we now need to do is set the parameters. So I'm going to say this params equals, and we need to do a little bit of a check here. We need to check if the URL actually has any content first. Uh, so I'm going to say URL. If so, we're going to say array values URL. Otherwise, we're going to pass through an empty object. Now, the reason that we do this is if there are no parameters, this will cause a problem if we try and set it. So let's try and do this as we uh, might normally do. So let's say array values. And basically, array values will just rebase the um, uh, indexes. So uh, down here, we saw that this is two. Uh, what this will do now is rebase it. So if we do a print R on this params, you'll see that that will start at zero. So if we have no parameters here, we've got an empty array. Perfect. However, what happens if we don't pass anything in here? Ah, we've got an array values expects one parameter to be array, error. So that's why earlier we said if the URL, then do a uh, rebase of the values, otherwise just set this params to an empty object. So like this. Now we could of course just uh, set params, uh, well we already set params to an empty object just to see. Uh, we could do this somewhere else but we'll leave it as it is now. So now we've got an empty array which is fine. But this is all useless unless we're actually calling the controller and the method that we've worked so hard to check here. So we use the call user func array method uh, function. Now basically this will take an array containing the controller and the method and then the second argument will be the parameters that we want to pass through. So we create an array in here and we say this controller, this method, oops, we've done all the checking up here already. And then the second is going to be this params, easy as that, and that will call that method. So now we see home index, which is what we echoed out from here earlier. Let's create a new uh, controller method, call this test, and let's just echo out test. And there we go. Now let's create a new controller just to check that this will work. So I'm going to create a new controller. Uh, I'm going to call this contact, and I'm going to extend the base controller that we have. And I'm going to save this as in here, contact.php. So remember, the name is important here. That's what's, that's what's basically going to allow us to say contact like this. And the reason we're getting this error is because we don't have any methods inside of here. But if we create our index method and echo out contact index, what this is going to do is call that. We can likewise do that. Now we could also say something like, public function at phone or something like that. So contact by phone. Bear in mind again, just a reminder, you wouldn't echo stuff out 
from your controllers you do that all in your views so we've got to now get our phone method so all we do is we say contact phone and there we go simple as that we've done a little bit of logic to come up with this uh, you know not powerful but quite flexible functionality let's uh, delete our contact controller we don't need that we know that everything's working now let's delete our test method here as well so let's return to home index now we need to deal with our parameter situation I want to pass in I don't know just say a name um, at the moment it's not doing anything but it is actually passing the um, if we look inside of our app it is actually passing the parameters to this method so inside of home we can actually say name equals say empty and we can echo name here so now what's going to happen is if we don't pass a parameter it will just be nothing but if we do pass a parameter it will echo out these parameters and we can do the same by saying Alex Billy and we can say other name equals empty string oops empty string so we can echo out a name or maybe just concatenate a space on and say other name now what's going to happen is we get both so this is how easy it is now to pass in parameters and have them available in your controller and therefore have them available in our view eventually Now what we've done is we've completed routing now we have routed um, basically uh, our controller method or our controller method and parameters through to our controller um, or the URL through to our controller we can now start to make use of all of this wonderful functionality